We are here in Las Vegas, guys. Despite flying almost five hours, there wasn't much water retention. I stayed on my meal plan, and as I flew, I prepared my my meals. And you know, I'm just I'm super excited to be back at the Olympia, back in Vegas, um, and and here with my family, my friends, all the fans that are coming out to support not just me but all the athletes. And uh, you know, I'm just really looking forward to giving them a good show. The Olympia is a big deal for not just bodybuilders, it's a big deal for fitness in general. You're stepping on a storied stage, you know, legends have stepped on that stage. And just to be able to step on the Olympia stage with a legend, maybe even creating your own legend, you know, it's, it's really indescribable. What does it mean to be human? What are you capable of? When you look at it like that, it's everything. I've done all that I could. Uh, I've given this everything that I could. The people around me have given everything that they could. It's been a lot of sacrifices made for me to get here. Um, but it's also sad because it's almost like the ride is coming to an end for now. So it's been a long year for me. I think Neil and I accomplished a lot. Um, but I think the next step now is to get on stage and show the world what we're capable of and send a warning shot to all those guys that don't think that I am a threat to that title to let them know I am. In the industry, a lot of people know John's dad as Pop, you know. He gets stopped as much as John, as much as a former Mr. Olympia by people on the street. Hey, Pop! You know, and he's like, he's kind of, he, I guess you would describe him as kind of the dad that everyone wants that's also bodybuilding's biggest fan. Yeah, my dad has been a, uh... sorry. My dad's my hero, man. There's a lot of things that people don't know about the, the family dynamic that my family's had. And we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot of shit in our lives. And my dad has always been my biggest fan. I think every son wants to make his dad proud. You know, and uh, I think John did, so. I do this, I do this for them. I do this for my family, my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister. And I'm just trying to be as successful as I can so I could, you know, just provide the people in my life that I love with everything that I can. And this is an outlet for me to do just that. Poor choice, bodybuilders don't make a lot of money and that's not a reason why I do it, but you know, my dad introduced me to bodybuilding at a really young age and it created this bond between him and I and it's, uh, it's something that I'll always be grateful for and, and I hope that one day when I'm a father, I'm able to pass that along. You know, it's almost like as an adult looking back at the years that were really hard on us, it, it made me who I am and it made me appreciate the people in my life that much more. The one thing about John is he's so humble and he's such a good guy that he forgets that he's a world-class athlete. And, you know, it's fine to be humble and it's fine to want to help people. And John does that, you know. Um, sometimes he wants to help people to a fault. And I am just here to remind him that you are a world-class athlete. I'm super proud of you and uh, go shock the world. I've never seen you so tight there at this kind of time in the day. Yeah. Do you know what? Those guys are going to struggle with that pose. It's going to be like... So the exciting thing about this, guys, is that um, John, John tends to be somebody who tends to hold a lot of water going into a show. And I've never seen him looking this dry when we haven't even tried to dry him out yet. Good, John. Crazy. Um, That's a good shot for you. 
I still feel he's, he's got the potential to improve on his condition by about 20-25%. And the reason I say that is not because I think there's got to be 20-25% improvement. It's just that from past experiences working with John, his physique ch can change dramatically in the last 24-36 hours. So to see John looking, at, looking like this at this point of prep, um, and also I, I don't look at him and think, you know, you look crazy flat. Crazy. And, um, it's insane kind of been able to elevate his carbs over the last three days higher than what I would normally do going into past preps. I know that he's worked extremely hard probably in the last, last four, three to four weeks of prep has been very hard for John because he's had to push very, very hard to um, bring his body composition into the environment it needs to be as far as Olympia prep is concerned. But I, I'm kind of like at that position where you know, you want to start to think, okay, let's start to run now, but it's just too, it's just too soon. It's, it's, what is it? It's Tuesday, probably 6, 6.30 in the evening. He's not going to be on stage until probably Friday 7, between 7 and 8 p.m. So <laughs> there's too much time between now and then to start thinking about starting to run. But tomorrow, that's when I'll start slowly start drying out John. Tomorrow I'll start the drying out phase and slowly start the filling out phase. So he looks incredibly impressive at the moment. The thing is about John, he's a very complete athlete. You'll have some athletes who will be tall and, and shallow in their depth of body or wide in their shoulders and they don't have, carry that density and thickness in their back. He's very 3D. So from the front, from the rear, from the side, he's an extremely difficult athlete competing against because he's dangerous. He's, he doesn't have those weaknesses. So when you have that physique, which is three-dimensional in, in, in all four quarter turns, and there's not a muscle group which is too big, there's not a muscle group which is too small, and you have a level of conditioning which goes hand in hand with a symmetrical phys physique like this. And the thing is with John, as soon as he raises his arms above his head and he starts going into dramatic front double bicep poses or anything like that, he's a fucking dangerous motherfucker because, <laughs> you know, and I also look at him from the side as well. So when I look at athletes, my athletes and then they're going to be competing against other athletes. So I always look to see where the weakness is and you always try to exploit those weaknesses, yes? And also, 99% of athletes have weaknesses. So you, tell, you will say to an athlete, stay away from this athlete in this pose. I don't see that with John. He's a very complete, very complete package. And I feel that if we bring the level of con uh, fullness like Puerto Rico, but a better conditioned than what we brought to um, Toronto, and I thought the Toronto show was our best look to date. Um, I feel very confident that he's going to ruin a lot of people's parties on Saturday night, guys. So <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's the plan of attack.